This time of year. A very good morning to you all. Grandfather Lear! I hear the pottery traders are coming to Ballybeg today. This afternoon, I'm moving all my pots to sell them at the crossroads as they pass by. How many pots do you have to move? That'll take forever. Oh, Garth and Bevan will be delighted to help you. Well, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Oh, don't worry. While you're helping Hoyt, you might discover something new. And you know what that means? We get to go in the time spiral! To another time and another place. We'll see. But what about Niall? We were supposed to be taking him home. I'll make sure he gets there. I expect he's gone to find some lunch. Come to think of it, I'm rather hungry myself. <laughs> The frogs hold the clue. You could discover something new. Watch out for that frog. Bev, lift a bit. Right a bit. Make your mind up. Bev! Careful! I am being careful. It's because they're all rattling against each other. Hoyt's not going to be happy. It's your fault for wobbling them all. I didn't wobble, you did. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I'd find you here. That sheep has come here to eat up all my best cheese. And good morning to you too, Elva. I'm sure he has. Your cheese is too delicious to resist. Oh, uh, but... I'm selling my best cheese to the traders today. I wonder if Niall and I might be able to buy a little sample for our lunch. Oh, well, seeing as it's you... Come on, my woolly friend. Lunchtime. How am I supposed to sell broken pots? Please be more careful. I'm carrying my own tray this time, so you won't wobble it. Huh? It wasn't me who wobbled. Was. Wasn't. I don't know what's worse. Ribbiting frogs or ribbiting children. So, shall we see how Garth and Bevan are getting along? <laughs> well, they appear to be doing a very odd They really need to think of a better way to carry those pots. Now then, I'm supposed to be getting you home. Watch out for that stone and that twig. Grandfather Lear said if we helped Hoyt, we might discover something new. But we haven't found anything. That means we won't get to go on the time spiral. Well, think then. I am. The 
This is a disaster. It's the worst thing that's happened since the last time I broke all my pots. If only we could stop the pots from rattling around. Then they wouldn't break. Here we are. How can you still be hungry after all that cheese? Now, let's see. The frogs hold the clue. You could discover something new. Hmm. The frogs hold the clue. Hey, I think this one's all right. Oops. <coughs> Poor frog. It's a good thing that bit of pot bounced off his cheek. That's it, Bev. The frogs are the answer. Excuse me, Frog. Would you mind helping us out? Garth, we're supposed to be carrying pots, not frogs. Well done! <laughs> you did discover something new. My apologies. I, I didn't mean to startle you. You were right, Grandfather Lear. The frogs were the clue. They sat between the pots and blew out their cheeks, like this. And stopped the pots from rattling around. It really worked. So, it must be time for a little treat. It's time for it. In another time and place, you'll meet with someone face to face. Just like me. <laughs> it works! It really works! <laughs> I've told you before, it's rude to stare. What's that? It's a tricycle, of course. <laughs> um, what was that, that thing that you stepped out of? Oh. Was just the time spiral. Don't worry about that. I'm Garth, and this is Bev. We've just come to visit. <laughs> well, you've picked a very exciting time. I'm John Dunlop, and this is my new invention, the air-filled tire. Ooh, what's it for? I would be delighted to show you. First, can you show us what a tricycle does? What does it do? It well, it's for pedalling around on. Can we borrow your tricycle for a moment, young man? Have a go. Uh, it's a bit rattly. Exactly. I wanted my son to enjoy riding his tricycle without getting rattled about. I couldn't take the cobbles off the street, so I tried making the wheels more cushioned instead. Are you a farmer? <laughs> no, I'm a vet. I look after sick animals. But look, this is what I wanted to show you. I decided to try wrapping this canvas around the wheels. Why does that work? But it doesn't. Uh, not just like this. The secret is to fill it with air. <gasps> and then I sealed it with rubber, and there you have it. The air-filled tire. It stops the tricycle from rattling around. That's a bit like how the air in the frog's cheeks stop the pots from rattling around. <laughs> Thanks for showing us. We've got to go now. Where to? We've come from another time and place. <laughs> Bye. And so, to stop it rattling around, he made these things called tires with air in them. A bit like how the air in the puffy frog's cheeks stopped the pots from rattling. 
That's right. You know what I always say. Nature, Nature has, has all, all the answers. answers.